Okay, in today's video I'm going to talk about this render called OCR. It's a Weber product, uh, I think it's made in the UK, and basically it's a one coat render system, which means you can apply the render two layers straight away immediately. So the first point I'm going to make about this render is so sticky. It's very easy to use and when you're trialling it, it's, it's almost like you're trialling a backing plaster for like internal use. It's nothing like sand cement. Sand cement can be a bit gritty, can slide around, it feels like you've got no traction but with this render it's so much easier to use because it literally just grips to the wall and in terms of application it is brilliant. Um, as you can see easy to apply and it's like I said it just sticks to any background. I've um, pre-gritted the walls which is basically a rendering primer. I've done that beforehand and I'm just going directly onto that. There's no moisture, no water needed. Um, and then so I've applied the render, ruled it off. Now here's the thing, I scratch this render up. I don't think you need to but I like to apply a scratch to the first layer just in case it provides a key for the top coat and for the matter of you know five minutes I prefer to do that to allow it to give the second coat a bit of grip. Now here's the render, it's one coat Weber product and I'm just mixing it on the level. I'm up a scaffold so rather than run up and down with a mixer I've just mixed it all on board. And the other thing, because it's all pre-mixed, it's so easy to uh, to use, no additives needed, you just put the whole bag and just mix it as it is. Brilliant product in terms of mixing and unlike sand cement where you've got to choose which additives, you've got to make sure you get your mixes right, it's nothing like that at all, it's just so much easier to use. And look, as you can see, I'm directly applying the second coat. I think I've waited around 20 minutes or something. Didn't wait long at all. But because it's a one coat render system, you can literally apply the top coat directly to the first coat. And there's no sagging. Even with all that render, I've got quite a bit of weight on there. There's no sagging whatsoever. It's, it's like you're using hard wall. It's just an amazing product. And it, if this was sand cement, it probably would have pulled all the render off by now because it's just too much weight. I'm working on a 15mm thickness and this render can be built up 16, I think maximum 20mm so even with this system applying two coats directly after each other it can really hold its weight and as you can see it rules beautifully it is a real nice product to rule, it rules back nicely and um, again back to the application it's just, it's just easy as you can see usually like I said this would have pulled off by now because the system and because of the way the render's made, it can just hold its weight and it's designed to be used in one sitting, which means you're saving time, you don't have to spray your scratch coat down, you don't have to worry about waiting on intervals, you can do any panel, any wall in one day, which ultimately is gonna make you more money because you're just saving the ha hassle of waiting in between, relying on weather, you can just do it all in one hit. And I must admit, I don't think I'm gonna go back to sand cement after using this product because it's just so much easier. Like if you use this, and if you're used to using sand cement render, you'll try this product and let's be honest, it, it's just a dream to work with. It is more expensive, I must admit. <clears throat> it's about a third more, maybe maybe 40% more than what it was if it, if it was just sand cement, but the time saved, I think, it is a lot worth it. And the other thing is you get a guarantee. Unlike sand cement, where you're making your own mixes, and you're mixing the sand with, you know, you don't know where the sand's come from, you don't know the quality of it. With this, it's all pre-made, pre-mixed, and it's their product, so if anything goes wrong, you've got someone you can call on, and someone you can blame for it. Um, as you've seen in previous videos, I've had a few problems with cracks and issues with a sand cement just not holding its weight and basically having issues, but with this, I just don't feel it's going to be the same. It's, it's also a more flexible product. It's not actually sand, I think it's a polymer render. Um, which means it's got a lot more flexibility than sand cement. It's still cement based, um, so it's still the same idea, but it's basically a totally different um, way of making it. So, as you can see here, it just rules really easy. It's, it doesn't sag, it doesn't pull, you just rule it as if it is like a, an internal plastering product. Um, and you know, these little distinctions make a massive difference when you're rendering. It just makes your life a lot easier. And it's just nicer to work with. As you can see, it's not leaving any pull marks. It's just really smooth to use. And when you float it, especially with this power float, you could almost leave it as it is. It leaves such a nice finish. 
just with the float in, it's really smooth. Even with the hand float, it's just so much easier to use. Um, I'll be honest, it's not too far away, but it just leaves a smoother finish. As you can see, it closes in the pause. And um, I think in terms of floating, it's also nicer to use. It sounds like I'm endorsed by I'm not endorsed by this product, by the way. I was just blown away how, how different it was. I was expecting it to have subtle differences, but... I'll be honest, the mixing's better, the floating, the ruling, the application, the fact you can do it all in one day. It's just overall a better product to use, and in terms of results, you just get better results from the get-go, really. As you can see, you're just, rule, just floating around the beads there, just getting the wall nice and flat, and you can see, even with a sideward glancing light, that it is dead flat. Um, again, any low spots, just fill it as if it would be sand cement render. Apply the um, the OCR to the areas that are low, and then just immediately float it. There's no waiting time with this product, which is what I really like. You can, it's pretty much as soon as the second coat was applied, I cleaned up, got my um, mixer away, got my materials dry, and it was ready for floating almost immediately. So we have quite a long waiting time with sand cement. There was none of that with this. It was just pretty much ready to be floated and finished almost, almost instantly. So. I think this whole wall took me about five hours from start to finish so you know that's with the mixing that's with preparing the sheets down and the scaffolding it's just a faster process like the whole wall from start that's the scratch coat as well it's just so much faster than what it was as if it was sand cement and it sponges the exact same as sand cement um, I'll be honest I find it a lot easier to dry with sand cement this is my only um, my only difference is the fact when I'm sponging I'm not quite getting the exact same finish as sand cement. I feel you've got a bit more time to sponge your where there's no joins but you know that's something I've got to work on. That's the only difference I'm finding with the sponging during that process of using this product. Um, but I'm going to play with that and probably just going to float the whole wall first and then sponge it all together rather than do it in sections. So you know there's a bit of difference but that is literally my only concern with this product. And on the whole, it is a brilliant, brilliant render to use. And like I said, I don't think I'll go back to sand cement unless the job specifies it. But look, nice clean finish, it's dead flat, easy to use, beautiful product. So that's my full review on Weber OCR render. Brilliant product, don't think I'll be going back to sand cement, it's amazing and if you are a sand cement renderer then give this a go because despite the price difference it is an amazing product. But if you want to see how I use a render, acrylic render which is perfect for timber frame and my second best rendering product to use, I absolutely love this stuff then click this video here and I'll show you a full guide on how to use acrylic render, ideal for anything that's more flexible or a timber frame background and if you like this video please hit subscribe here and I'll see you in the next one, cheers.